Don't teenagers panic after seeing pimples on their faces? Wait, hold on. Why are we discussing about pimples? Well, that is because it describes one of the most significant physical changes in adolescence. And apart from this, the issue is common in both girls and boys. Development of pimples and acne are very noticeable features of adolescence. Again, the same question would pop up in our minds. Why do these occur prominently during adolescence only? The simplest reason is that during puberty, the activity of oil glands and sweat glands is quite high. Wait a second, what exactly are these glands? The first ones called oil glands or even sebaceous glands are those which secrete an oily substance called sebum. A mixture of various oils and waxes is secreted by these sebaceous glands present all over the body. And what will be the use of this sebum? It is meant to protect the skin and form a waterproof as well as lubricating layer around it. And what do the second type of glands function as? As the name suggests, sweat glands are known for secretion of sweat. The main purpose of this is to maintain body temperature and eliminate waste products to an extent. If the secretions from these glands are good for us, then how can these cause pimples and related problems? Well, these secretions are good only in the required amounts. However, if the quantity of secretions exceed the required amount, then they definitely cause problems. This is what exactly happens during puberty. Since these glands secrete excessive sebum and other oils, it results in the extra amount to ooze out of the skin. However, the skin pores usually get clogged with the extra oil and these clogs result in the pimples or acne on the face. These were some commonly observed changes that come with adolescence. However, we have not yet discussed the most important physical change in every adolescent. Yes, I am referring to the development of sex organs. Wait a second, are we saying that these organs develop during adolescence only? Yes, the reproductive organs, which are also referred to as the gonads, are present since birth, but develop completely during puberty. And what does this imply? It implies that the male or the female is now physically capable of reproducing. So, what exactly do we mean by development of the reproductive organs? If we take the case of males, then the development of testes takes place. This is the site for production of male gametes, that is, the sperms. Similarly, in case of females, we find the development of reproductive structures called ovaries. These ovaries are the location where egg cells, that is, the ova, are produced. That is the reason why we say that puberty is a stepping stone towards adulthood. But are the changes during adolescence limited to the physical ones? Of course not. We have seen that the changes during puberty will include mental, intellectual and emotional ones as well. So what exactly will happen in this case? In order to understand this, we need to take help of the theory put forth by the famous German-American psychologist Eric Erikson. In his theory, the stage of adolescence is bestowed with the title Identity versus Role Confusion. Is the title self-explanatory? Yes, it is. It tells us what the adolescents go through. Along with all the physical changes, adolescents experience many changes in their thinking patterns as well. They can grasp and learn things better and they usually understand emotions better. Psychologically, they start behaving independently. At this stage, many of them find themselves confident enough to take a few decisions as well. So, as per the theory, individuals during adolescence either turn successful while searching their own identity and their responsibilities or become totally confused as to what exactly is happening with them in life. We know that every individual is unique. Similarly, characters seen in adolescence, right from physical changes to the mental development, are subjective to each individual. In simple words, adolescence is an age just like wet clay. You can mould yourself into the most appropriate form. But for this, 
All you need is good morals, the right direction and an elderly guide to lead you to the correct path. With this, we come to an end of the topic, changes occurring during adolescence. So what next? In the next video, we have to learn about the concept of development of secondary sexual characters.